knows that. Hold up, bad cat. I really enjoy golf. As someone whose athletic peak is behind them, it's always nice to go out on a Saturday morning and play around. Get some fresh air, see some wildlife, and lose up to three to five balls in a lake. I didn't say I was good at it. Now as long as there's been Mario, there's been Mario Golf. This is a tradition that goes all the way back to the original Nintendo. It's one of several party titles that exist within the Mario franchise. But is this game an eagle or a double bogey? <laughs> Because it's golf. I'm Eugene Morris of the Brotherhood of Gaming, and here's a review of Mario Golf Super Rush. After a fantastic intro, Super Rush presents several different modes that you can play as. When you select Play Golf, your first mode introduced to you is Standard Golf. This is pretty much a basic golf game featuring the adorable characters from the Mario universe. Damn, Pauline, you fine. There are seven golf courses that you can play through. Now, these courses do have some creativity to them, with bunkers and trees all over the place, and plenty of bad guys in your way, like the exploding bombs, for example. The Bowser course, though, is my personal favorite. Now, this is what I think of when I think of a course designed by the King of the Koopa to challenge Mario, with volcanoes and lava and everything. But unfortunately, I do not feel that there's enough of that here. The other courses in the game feel more or less like your standard golf courses, just slightly souped up. I would have loved to have seen more wild courses, like maybe one in the sky made of clouds, or an ice level, or hell, how about a golf course underground? I really feel like that was a missed opportunity here. Now along with standard golf, you have the speed golf mode. Here, not only are you trying to get a good score, but you're also trying to do it faster than your opponents. This is where the speed dash feature really comes into play. Now you can hold down the dash button to run faster, but by activating the super dash, it will increase your speed for a short burst. Now do remember though, this will cause your stamina bar to deplete, so you will have to use it sparingly. But it can be used to knock opponents out of the way. Now in Battle Golf, you battle it out in an arena type setting, where the first one to capture three flags is the winner. This mode can get quite nuts as there's many booby traps and enemies to deal with along the way. There's nothing more BS as you're about to tap in to win, but then suddenly a massive explosion knocks you off the putting green. This is a good time to talk about the special attack. If enabled, this will allow you to use a special shot that's unique to each character. A good example is Luigi, who uses an ice flower to have his ball stick the landing and create an ice barrier around it. Now these moves will not guarantee you victory on a particular hole, but they can provide a little advantage. But you still have to use them in the right spot, because the ball can still be deflected by a tree or whatnot. A nice thing about this game is that it gives you a lot of different options on how to play it. Not only do you have the standard buttons, but you can also use the Joy-Con for motion as well. I know, I know, Nintendo and their motion controls, but it does work pretty well here. You stand in front of the TV, judge your distance, and swing away. However, I do feel that the buttons do make the game a bit easier to play. So if I'm ever in the mood for a challenge, that's when I would bust out the motion controls. Also, I do not believe you can access the special move in this mode. Well, at least I couldn't figure it out anyway. The characters pretty much span the entirety of the Mario universe, and each of them are fun to use in their own unique way and have their own special abilities. Some of them are dressed up in golf clothes, which is rather cute. I also love the really big characters because they're so large that they can only swing the club with one hand. While Rosalina uses her wand. Nice stuff. However, with that being said, I do hope that future DLC will let us play as other Nintendo characters. Like Link, uh, Zelda, or Samus, or Kirby, just to name a few. Golf Adventure is this game's side story, more or less. Here is basically where you can level up your me character. Now you're a new golf rookie and you're tasked to take on a number of challenges in order to qualify for tournaments. This gives the game a bit of an RPG element. 
as you can add points to give more power and control and stamina. You can really max out your Mii character to make them pretty powerful. And that's a big reason why I believe there's so many Mii characters online. Speaking of which, I did play this game online quite a bit, and I found this function to work rather well. Nintendo has always been kind of spotty when it comes to its online play. Essentially, you can either create your own room or join someone else's. You can play Standard, Speed, or Battle Golf, under a variety of different rules. I did lose a connection a couple of times, but for the most part, I did have a good time playing online against other competitors. You know, it's always fun to hear the familiar sound effects from the Mario world, like the coins or the barks from the chain chomps. The musical tracks, on the other hand, are pretty much original numbers. They're okay, but nothing all that memorable. I would have loved to hear more classic Mario tunes, personally. As far as the graphics go, well, they're bright and colorful. Just as you expect in a Mario game. Nothing more, nothing less. And now it's time for the final call. Is this game a buy or a sell? A variety of easy to learn game modes, solid online play, courses that don't fully reach their potential, a lack of characters from other NES franchises. Mario Golf Super Rush is a fun game to play as single player, but I think this game really shines when you have a group to play with, either next to you on your couch or online. It really is best as a party game. Even if you're not too much into golf, I say give this one a shot. The controls are easy to master, the online play is functional, and the gameplay can be addicting. That being said, there are room for improvement, such as new courses, new characters to play as, and hell, even new costumes. Where's the NAS Open outfit? Hopefully that'll all be addressed in the DLC. But overall, it is a cute and fun game for golf enthusiasts and non-golf enthusiasts alike. Anyway, I am Eugene Morris of the Brotherhood of Gaming. Thanks for watching! Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and visit our Teespring store to check out our TVOG shop. Thanks for watching! We'll see you next time. And as always, keep on gaming.